Hello fans and welcome back to the channel. I know I haven't put out a lot lately and for those who've been following know the reason why. Recent wrist surgery and that's kind of made it difficult to get in and play some games here. Uh, nevertheless, I do have something set up here which I think I can try a little left-handed at least to get into this one. And uh, so let me introduce it here. As you already see from the name up there, Pathfinder Kingmaker. So 18,000 backers got together on Kingstarter, Kickstarter to help make this happen. Um, it's got a campaign based on the actual Pathfinder uh, Kingmaker campaign. And we do know that you can, that you're going to actually conquer a piece of Galarian in the Stolen Lands and a chance to turn it into a kingdom on, uh, of your will. I don't know how much of this is going to be as you adventure is building it and how much of it is going to be a kingdom established. You know, we'll see. And for those watching and wondering, Pathfinder is a evolution of the Dungeons and Dragons 3.5. Uh, it was made comparable to that, compatible to, uh, to that rule system. And even Pathfinder itself, like I'm told this Pathfinder Kingmaker game is going to be along with those original Pathfinder rules that evolved off 3.5. That's important to say because um, Pathfinder is even now going into a second edition of its own rules. It's trying out some changes. So this is still under the first version of the Pathfinder rules. And again, because I'm not putting out many videos, because I'm not able to do some really good gameplay for you. Uh, this is more a case of something that I'm going to bring you to start. We'll go into it, we'll go into character creation and just take a look at the intro of it and no promises past that point here. But So really just walk with me as we do the intro, as we go into the start of it and uh, for your entertainment and, and so you can see how what I do as far as making my character in that too. I already have an idea what I'm doing. So let's try to dive in here and do it. Again, thanks for joining me. Be sure to check out. I've added some stuff there that I'm on now. Lots of social links. And it doesn't cost you anything to put a like if I at all entertained you today. And I appreciate those likes. They help build my channel. Let's give it a shot here. Izo. Nice relaxing flute music there on my neck. First time loading. I think of one game that was similar to this, this Pathfinder Kingmaker, was when we did one of the uh, one of the Forgotten Realms. Neverwinter. Get your own keep. Good game, not so great ending to it. So let's poke in about the classes and that. Like I say, I'm pretty certain that I want to play something that's been one of my favorites. And that's likely what we'll do here, so we'll get and see. I know this game has romanceable companions. They already probably told me a bit too much on that. I like some surprises. We also know, and they've kept this quite enough, that some of the iconic heroes from the Pathfinder game are in here. And even though we know like one of them definitely looked like uh, oh, the little barbarian girl as Amri, Amiri. So we know she's going to be one of them, otherwise we don't know what other Iconics are going to show up. But I'm always curious how the Iconics will come into it. And 
the bar is moving. It's slowly moving. Whoa, jump to the end. After almost eternity, all right. Bar's almost there, just a little. Let's get in. I like the desk setup. I, I like it when they at least make sure that it looks like an adventure setup where there's options here. Obviously, I haven't done anything yet, so new game. Trying to make out, I don't know the exact borders of the stolen lands. Let's tweak these settings a bit. I, I think we need to turn down this music a little bit. In fact, let's go really low just for the moment, okay? Character voice response constantly, okay. All right, I'll put this up a little bit again, okay. But uh, typically we try to get the music down a bit. Scenes and sound, yes. So language, English. I'm okay with that. Hmm. I'll do that because I'm, I'm looking at the stuff on the left. I do want to be able to help fix this up. Action bar slots autofill, not necessarily. I like to fill my action bar slots. Tutorial messages. Well, we're going to start off with that. Auto save enabled. Actually, yeah, I guess at the start. Show equipment comparison. Yes, I do want that. Simplified spell descriptions, we might change that later on. Oh, show miss in combat text. You know what? I think we can skip showing a miss. Let's simplify combat text in that way. If they miss, who cares? Party information. Names only on selection. Okay. So, enemy name on house. Okay. So, just check what else they got here. That music, that bit that started right there, reminds me very much of something in World of Warcraft. Oh, this one's seen show alignment requirements, alignment shifts, and dialogues. So this is notifying you that you can be changing your alignment and such. I'd say yes. That was weird on the screen there. No, I do not want to keep moving after combat start. That's a good way to get killed. Pause when you hit an object. Yes, I prefer you do. It's a good thing I checked these options. No, I didn't think I'd spend this much time on them, but but this is important here to me. This is interesting whether I want to pause and all at the end of a round or something, not necessarily. Pause on the league combat start. Here. Pause when an ally is down. Yes. Make sure to pause. I want to react to that. 
Pause when an ally is unconscious or dead. Pause when the party is attacked. I would say so too. So there's a lot of places it wasn't paused that I would like a pause here. Okay. So I apologize. I didn't think I'd go that much to even those, but I do. Sound character inventory journal. Okay, most of that is set up as normal. So, alter how you select the character. Oh, okay, and kingdom control. So, that's interesting. The ones you can pull up for that. Graphics, hopefully they're as good as we can do. Oh, mine are set it low. It took as the default, so. Alright. Spent enough time on that, but it was important to get that. The only thing I didn't see there was just making sure they could see, um... Let me look at it quick again here. It's just making sure that I had, uh... Captioning. Which I don't see anywhere here. Alright, let's just go into it. New game! Okay, selected difficulty. And hopefully I don't hit the wrong thing, because again, I'm using the left hand for the mouse because of this. Interesting. Custom mode, story mode. Oh, you can... So you can set certain things right up here. So from custom to story mode. So your character won't even die. But if all your characters fall unconscious, the game is over. In easy mode. So I wonder what the default setting is. It looks like the default setting is on normal mode. Okay. So even on normal mode, you have some damage reduction. And your character will not die after a deadly injury the first time, but they'll have the death door condition. So you have to rest in certain places for that. Okay. Um, for sake of this star through, I think I'm interested in just leaving it on normal mode. But out of interesting, let's go to unfair mode. Let's just look at it. What is it? Double damage from enemies, increased power, and usual chance of inflicting critical hits. Characters die. <laughs> Choosing this difficulty is not recommended for players unfamiliar with Pathfinder system. And for those who are not willing to suffer. <laughs> the enemies will not forgive any mistakes and your character's builds must be no less than perfect. Just probably because there are people who really try to perfect how they got their characters in here. Honestly, I could probably take challenging mode too because I'm familiar with it, but let's just go with that. Normal mode, next. Select a character. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it does offer you the choice of either grabbing some preset ones or creating your own. Of course, I'm going to be creating my own here. Create your companion from scratch, yep. So, race. And so are we choosing race just by portrait, or is portrait more binding? So 
interesting. It's funny, it isn't telling us the race. That's that's an odd way of doing it, going by the portrait instead of I'd like to think of that as like a dually type character right there. If you haven't read my book, The Widow Brigade. Hmm. Alright, let's see what choices there are that might be similar to what I'm still imagining here. Is that character an ASMR? Hmm. Half elf. Choose a portrait. Hmm. Well, So I like a character's face, but I do know a character is a bit more rangerish. This person could be some. Hmm. I'll go with that. Uh, you know, there are more portraits coming through. I, I didn't even notice that. You can slide down and see more. So let's see. I'm still thinking rather humanish. So I'll wow, do that guy. Ranger or even like a druid type, so she's got a bow also. Yeah, it's hard to say though. You say race, some of these could be, uh, some of these even look like they could be human, could actually be half elves, and you don't realize it. I'm not as much into that guy's look. You know, I'm not 100% here, but I guess that's what I'm going to do. Alright, so next. So we are human. Seem to have a few choices as far as beard, body type. Picking points here. Plus two to one ability score, plus two to ability choice. Okay. So the only thing I, I won't really see doing... Now, it looks like maybe... If I change this, like if I tried to change now to suddenly do an elf, would that change my portrait? Oh, okay. So I don't have to be locked into a, a portrait other than what that thing showed. So let me go back there. Oh. Because, see, I kind of like that face a little better. Um, did it skip over something when I was picking that? Because this is like a different screen now. You know what? It did do something. I can't really pick up uh, my character parts of parts of that system. Oh, here we go. So I'm gonna pick portrait. It shot me to rate. It shot me to class. But I can still go back here and do stuff. Main hand, main colors. Uh, I'm not too far off from the main colors. Darker skin, different body type. Oh, I see. You go kind of thin or thick here. Huh. That's weird. I don't want to necessarily the thinnest guy, so I'll do that. Okay, face. It's hard to see the face well. Oh, 
Okay, I can turn him around. Hairstyle. Well, I can't see the hairstyle because I already made a class here. Look at that. I think I goofed up my hairstyle because I already gave him a class. I don't suppose there's a way I can take the clothes off here. Let's try some. If I make him a barbarian, that's funny. I can go back and now I can switch this, switch that. Oh, except it remade everything else. So when I make him back to Ranger. So next time you, you pick a portrait, don't go back because then it throws you off. Okay. Yep, Thamma normally does have a little ponytail. So we'll keep that. No beard though. Hair color, dark. There we go. <clears throat> I'm waiting a moment before I go back and change to a ranger, which he is going to be. Well, maybe I'll just do it here. So at least you can go back and forth between the windows. It's just hard to change certain things when you've gone too far. So... Hmm. I'm trying to actually affect the stuff up there for strength dexterity in that, and it's not letting me do it. Appearance, gender, main hand is his right hand. Okay, so actually next. Oh, jumped right to uh, skills. Nope, I want class. All right, Ranger. Oh, maybe there's a few choices. Divine Caster, Death Skirmishers, Freebooter. This must be a, so these are the, must be subclasses of Rangers that can be used. Flame Wars, that's interesting. Hmm. I wish I kind of knew a little bit more about these to choose them. And there's all kind of stuff going on down here, which would would take me a while, I guess, to totally look over stuff here. I do have my proficiencies. Level 1, I do have a favorite enemy. Combat style feet, favorite terrain. What's this? Camouflage. So there is stuff down here which is very similar to what I'm used to in the game. Load pre made build. I don't want to do that. So you can see how this stuff changes things. But I just like a regular ranger. Unfortunately, I still can't. Choose this. Okay, now I'm on skills. Okay, now you can mess with your abilities. So on the left, it's got my base, on my left, you know, it's got my basic combat stuff there, as is. And numbers behind the scenes, but I'm able to mess with this and start assigning skill points. So, now, depending on how they will be played in this game. Oh, and which one I'll give the racial bonus to, so let's see. Because I know intelligence can help 
uh, people with skill points. Um, I typically accentuate dexterity with rangers because it it bleeds into so much other stuff. They're bows, short weapons, but sometimes it's good to have one that can wreak havoc with a good plus on uh, strength as well. Well, a spilled dex, and that might be the one I also boost with the racial bonus. One thing my character typically doesn't do is normally have a good charisma. Um, but being that this one, he's going to be leading. Oh, see, now it's using more of the portrait with the armor that I don't like. But I don't know. That's the face I like better, so I'm sticking with it. For this game only, I might find that handy, even though I normally wouldn't put points in there. I know, the stranger has a bit of a plus in everything. If I did do this... Now this is just an all-around positive character. To spread your pluses. Um, doesn't necessarily own one, but now I probably can't boost that anymore, can I? I can. And with two more, though, what can I boost? Con? I can. I'm not sure that's what I want to do, though, so I'm taking another thought on it. One there, but this would cost two, right? Right. Uh, in Pathfinder, if you're not used to it, odd numbers in the score generally would seem wasteful because it's only even numbers on a score that you're going to get the next bonus. Now, as you level up over time, you can add to these numbers, so it, it can help. Let's go ahead and just boost one of these up a bit. I'm used to having a ranger that can also take a lot of damage and stand up in the front line, so... And it doesn't go down. And let's add this into decks. There we go. So that should give them some good ranger stats to start off with. All right. So six points. Let's see what we can do. Athletics. Some of these have been, I think, combined a bit to reflect the game because otherwise Pathfinder's got a lot of skills. Mobility is a good long-term one. I'm not as much into trickery. I definitely want to be into stealth. Zombie world and lore nature would be good. In my lore, this character of mine here started out as kind of a guide. Started out as Damon in Ultima 3. Started out as a guide. Has been one of my favorite characters. So that's why I'm going to bring him back in this one. Perception is always a big one I should do. So, okay. We're definitely going to grab perception, stealth. Now, sometimes stealth in these games is tricky. Is it going to let me have a... How is stealth going to play out? That's a big question in a lot of these games. So I'll take that, and typically you can only do a maximum of one in these. I'll do persuasion early on because that may really help out for the sake of the game. But, okay, in the world, let's do a little lore and a little knowledge. There we go. So that should help us out with the big things that we need. So next. Oh, okay. So our abilities looks like our feats. We're again reminded of what we're going to earn in the future. Because I'm a human, I get a bonus one too. And from the favorite enemy list. Okay, so... Is, is it automatically picking these or some, or just because I'm a ranger? So 
So I'm guessing I get something in a, in adjustment to these as well. Alertness is usually good. Armor focus helps to not slow you down, which is also good for light armor wearers like myself. Lion fighting can save your butt in a bad situation. Our reflex is nice, so let me go down here to see where we are. We got lots of stuff we can choose from. Die hard, you need orc ferocity. Yeah, but I think you can pick it too. Dodge is always a good early one for a character in these games. I mean, dodge, getting that plus some bonus to AC right away, really good. Endurance is not too bad. Ooh, it's nice to have an exotic weapon proficiency. Although you can choose only one. Improved initiative is always nice for going early on. Now that will probably be a big bonus in a game like this. Meta magic I'm not worried about too much yet. Skill focus, skill... Toughness gives you the extra hit die. Again, something I've always liked with my characters, just having those hit points. The ability to stay up. Now, I'm eventually going to get some two weapon fighting or something later on as a ranger. Not sure why these are red. Non recommended. Okay. So, I'm going to get toughness for the extra hit points early on and dodge because I'm typically an up in the middle of combat person now favorite enemy this will be interesting what will we run into in the stolen lands typically damon has always been against trolls which are considered I guess giant humanoids It doesn't hurt to have something that's also a big enemy later on because as you level up, you're better able to fight that big enemy. You know what? I'm going to do that. That kind of goes in line with who this character is. Okay. So it looks like I'm going to be on this. I'm still not great on that portrait, but what can you do? Maybe it's possible to uh, load portraits. I'll have to look at that. Oh, what's this? Voice. Let's try it. I'm always ready. I'll take care of it. A mere flesh wound. <laughs> That's not me. Madman probably doesn't need it, but let's try it. Get it off me. <laughs> let's shake a leg. I'll carve my name onto your flesh. All right, let's not do that. Let us press on. I shall not falter. Our time has come. Together we stand. That's a nice voice. Let us be off. Forwards! I won't give up. We cannot be defeated. Typically, I like Brave. That wouldn't be bad. How about Reserved? I feel faint. Let us bide our time. Enemy near. A solid plan. Hmm. None shall escape! Spell's not working like that. All this waiting bores me. <laughs> we will bad. be victorious. 
I'll go ahead. I didn't even break a sweat. Tch. Time's not waiting. I think honestly, I'm more of this pragmatic person. This will hurt. Birth date. Oh, interesting. So it matters. Oh, which month of the year? How about springtime? Fairest. 13th. Why not? That's interesting. Throw a birth date out. I've never had a game do that. Having to type left handed. Can I put in a surname or no? As soon as I tried to do a space, it wouldn't take it. Okay, I can. Choose alignment. Now, of course, this is a start. You can end up accidentally altering it during the game. I've always thought of the character as neutral good, but... Hmm. So let's try neutral good. That's probably going to be a hard one to maintain during gameplay, though. Total. Okay. So. All right. So let's ask ourselves this. So um, it's given us everything. How I look, my proficiencies, my skills, my abilities. Some of these are something uh, anyone can get. So the only question is, again, the portrait. So I like the face that's, that looks more like my guy. But at least this time I'm only drawing a portrait so I could do something else. I could take the... I could take the bold guy in the black on the steps if I wanted. All right. All right, so that is that. And next time I'll probably do that last. Go back at the end of things and change it. So, new character complete. Well, let's get into the intro, right? Our story started at the mansion of an Aldori sword lord. Drawn by the promise of a most dangerous task and a commensurately huge reward, heroes of all stripes gathered here. Her words are a little different than what's in the book, even though it's similarly the same thing. And that reminds me, I think we did have a old female halfling bard or something that was our storyteller. Where are they? This is taking forever. Amiri. I didn't even say what this was for. Just that the Aldori were looking for heroes. Who are the Aldori anyway? Rich folk? <laughs> So, Miri, so, obviously a few things. That looks like my character there, and there's a Miri right there. I'm looking at these other characters just in case Ava might offer a hint that there might be someone else I'd know. But now we know why they gave a Miri away. You run into her so early. If I page over her, do I learn anything? No. If you can't be patient, no one's keeping you here. Just go oh, back that to guy. the mountains or whatever hole you crawled <laughs> out of. The Aldori Sword Lords run the premier school for the dueling arts. They're also the richest and most influential group in this part mm. of Brevoy. Take that tone with them, and they'll teach you some manners pretty quickly. This looks like something I can ask him about. Oh, I can get info. 
The Adori Sorlos rose and famed swordsman Baron and Adori agreed to train a group of pupils. And they're all successful with personal standing and honor. So my next question is, extra info like that, do I know that because of some of the stuff I picked, lore knowledge? Might certain things highlight because I, I should know because of those choices? Or would everyone know certain things? Okay. All right, you purple toad, just shut your trap. And if you can't, I'll help you. <laughs> Boy, Amiri isn't very persuasive. Or just as it intimidates. I swear I click continue. Hush! Quiet! They're coming. There's Lindsay. I wonder if that's that's my gal. Everyone, I am Sword Lord Jamandi Aldori, and this is Lord Mayor Yosef Salimius of Rustov. Welcome to my mansion. I like the way the characters are getting introduced here. So, what do we know about again, Sword Lord? Personal standing and honor. Let's see. So this is the city that we're in, Restov. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for responding to our call. They don't have a character you picture for You but that's unavoidable. We need only the best of the best for this task. And I see true heroes before me, strong and fearless. Exactly what Restov needs. Hmm. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Now, to the point. South of here, just beyond Brevoy's border, lies a region known as the Stolen Lands. This is disputed territory, and while it's long been claimed by nearby states, it's never been truly taken. I won't bore you with the legal technicalities. Suffice to say that anyone with enough courage and power to seize the Stolen Lands and name themselves Baron or Baroness, claiming dominion, well, none of the neighboring states would be able to challenge it. Of course, Restov would be first to recognize the legitimacy of this new state, as well as the noble title of its founder. So it's interesting, Restov trying to establish an ally in this country without being the ones themselves trying to conquer it for themselves. They wouldn't get into trouble with the neighbors, but they are hoping that somebody else can establish a position and probably run out whatever bandits and monsters are normally in such a place. Unfortunately, one serious obstacle stands between you and this title. A gang of bandits hold sway in the Stolen Lands. Their chief, who they call the Stag Lord, considers himself the rightful owner of these lands, and no one has yet been able to challenge his power. Bring me his head, and you'll be able to return to the Stolen Lands as their legal ruler. Any questions? Just having a bandit... Just having a bandit king and bringing his head sounds a little too easy. Considering the scope of what I'm sure the campaign is. Yeah, there's a whole team of us. All right. <laughs> so I'm also noticing as I point over these, uh, I did ask for if anything or if it was alignment change or anything with Nomi. It's not notifying me of anything yet, so I'm assuming that none of this really affects anything yet. Hmm. So that's interesting. I'd be more like this. Don't ask stupid questions. Why should you even care? What they have to gain and why, that's for Lady Aldori and I to discuss. 
It's none of your concern. Your only concern is to swing your sword around or whatever it is you do. Oh gosh, what if I want to be leader? Of course we stand to benefit from this enterprise. But if you're concerned that we intend to rule your country from afar, using you as a front, well, please know that these concerns are unfounded. Hmm. Let's just say that we have a strong interest in the region's stability. We have need of a ruling power we can negotiate with, not bandit gangs and monster hordes. It's just kind of what I was thinking earlier. I will, of course. Uh -huh. I'm the leader of this team, after all. Don't worry, uh -huh. though. I'll make it worth your while to help me. Oh, so this guy's automatically assuming leadership or got the wrong memo. We haven't yet begun, and you already speak of divvying uh -huh. rewards. What makes you think we'll even succeed? There's little point arguing over who gains the title when we'll most likely lose our lives there. <laughs> and he speaks truthfully. <clears throat> if I may please answer the question. <laughs> we believe you're all equally deserving of a noble title. Over the course of your expedition, it will be up to you as a team to decide which of you is best suited to rule. Now, if I go by the number of people in this room, that's still a big team. That's still a lot of people that might unfortunately get weeded out. And I know that if I say that the wrong process, it makes it sound like I'm the bad guy. Yeah, these guys are going to get weeded out, and then we'll know who the ruler is. Obviously, this would not be something I would do, and this I'm not as interested in. So, I'm going to go with this. Excellent. You venture forth tomorrow. For now, you can take some time to get to know one another better. Or you can head straight to your guest rooms to get some rest. You'll find we've already prepared supplies for you there. And thank you again for agreeing to take part in this expedition. I wish you luck. So time to mingle? Thank you again, with all my heart, for replying to this call. The flare in your eyes reveals your courage, the unshakable will that distinguishes true heroes. I look at you, O oh champions of Restoff, and doubt not for a second that you'll be victorious. So venture forth toward your feet. Go, and return in triumph. My name's Lindsay. Oh, here we go. I'm a bard, though this is my first real adventure. So, shall we go teach this stag lord a lesson? Ah, uh, Lindsay. So, let's talk to a few people here while I still uh, can in the game. And interestingly, they have this opportunity to get to meet um, these people that we're going to adventure with. If it's in store. Let's see. I'd be like this here. Likewise. Humble. Actually, I also wanted to ask you something. How do you feel about this Tartuccio fellow? <laughs> I think he's pretty obnoxious personally. He appointed himself head of the team, and he's just after the Baron's crown, or whatever it is Baron's wear. <laughs> I like her voice. I don't like him. I think you should be team leader. When I first saw you, I couldn't help but think, now here's a real hero. Someone who'll be praised in poems and songs. This... Where those guards this are on? This is the person I'll write my book about. Oh, that's interesting. I, I like that ending there. This, she blushes, this is the person I'll write my book about. So I had to pause there. Okay. Here's a sign man. This is the person I'll write my book about. Yes, I, I would be flattered. Ah, uh, that way to book. Well, I'm no hero, just a mercenary. When I say that, I'd be interested in the book. Damn, I should have led with that. Please, just let me explain. <laughs> you know what the trouble with most heroes' biographies is? They're always written years later, based on the tales of, best case, people who saw things from the outside. 
worst case, someone heard about it from their brother, who heard it from their friend, who heard it from their cousin, and so on, adding a new batch of lies each time. Every time I read about a heroic journey, I think to myself, why didn't they just bring a bard with them to write it all down properly? And I have heard that quote from Lindsay before in one of the trailers or something in the news about this game. So that's a pretty nice quote of hers. And then I thought, I could be that bard. I just needed to find a suitable hero and volunteer to follow along on their glorious adventure. A great plan, huh? And here we are, with a heroic journey lying before us. Who's going to be the hero? Some dwarf who keeps muttering about how we'll all die? Or maybe that horrific scythe lady? Or gods forbid, Tartuccio? No way. <laughs> Well, I can't say this. I do have something against Tartusio, and I'm not that much feats and write them down, but I'd be this one. Oh, yeah. She's fantastic. You can tell she could tear a bear's head off with her bare hands, but she kind of scares me just a little. But, I mean, her sword's twice as big as I am. She could cut me down without even noticing. <laughs> just think on it a bit, all right? I'm sure you'll agree. All right, I'm going to my room to write about tonight. See you in the morning. Oh, she's leaving too early. First step on the road going. All right, I want to click on this because I didn't want to fade from the screen and me not read it. It's author Lindsay the note to self. I go with a fancy nickname added here. So, so this is Lindsay writing this book. I was going to see what happened next. These all. I think mean, it's just person I was looking for. Aww. <laughs> it's going to make me blush. We haven't really done anything yet. All right, so now to get used to walking around. Tartusio, click the location, okay. Adventure, we don't know her name. And here's Amiri, who I think I want to talk to first. Let's talk to Amiri. She's one of the Iconics. I'll talk to her, can we set out? Oh, okay, she's not going to talk to me, I guess. How about this Tartusio, then? I don't need any layabouts on my team. Oh, gosh. Maybe I'm clicking the wrong thing. How about... Mostly getting around is rather... See? All according to plan. Either button will get me somewhere. Fighting over. Used to feeling like a pawn. Alright, so everyone's. So everyone's working their way to leave here. Let's see if Harm will say anything. Oh, to move the camera. Okay. Harm's not talking either. And everyone's going to sleep for the night. Maybe I'll get one last Didn't chance to talk time. to these guys up here. You know, you always want to talk to the people in charge. Difficult dream ahead of you. Okay. So that seems to be it for the moment. We can't really talk to anyone else here in the room or do anything else yet.
All right, folks. Well, that was just the very beginning of getting into Pathfinder Kingmaker. And I know it was mostly intro and setting up the character, very little gameplay. But right now, that's all we're trying to do is get a taste of that and get a feel for things without diving too deeply into the story. Especially because, again, I'm having to do all this movement with my left hand on the mouse. And hopefully, this will be better soon. Uh, but at least it gives you an idea of how quickly you can get into it or how much you can look over creating the character if you want to delve more into that system. Uh, if you want to go more explanations. Now I do have the benefit of I played the Pathfinder game, so I already have a good idea how some rule sets are going to try to be and how that actually helps in the computer might be a little different, you know, we'll see. But thank you again. Here's my information over here. And please, it costs you nothing to like, but if I've entertained you this far, throw a like down there. And uh, it helps grow my channel. I appreciate your time, uh, spending your time with me. And a hey, good adventuring.